The X account for the RNC, the Republican National Council, I guess, research, blue check mark on X, tweeted this. Kamala Harris in a giant word salad says you're feckless, going to quote, if you don't support restrictions on Second Amendment rights. This is uh, less than a minute. Let's check this out. I'm pointing to the direction of what I believe is the capital. <laughs> of course you wouldn't know. And what needs to happen in terms of people who otherwise have evidenced themselves being having a feckless quality to show some courage to reject the false notion that suggests you're either... False. She's drunk! She's fucking drunk! Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Not only does she not know where the capital, which is where she works, is at... Yeah, yeah. Can't even point to it. She's guessing. She's either pointing to Venus. She's like, I think it's over there by Venus. <laughs> You know that stripper pole I used to work on? Yeah, that club. <laughs> the fuck, bitch? Yeah, right. Oh, you're feckless if you don't... Suck my ass hairs, you whore. <laughs> Jack the false notion that's... No. Drunk whore, excuse me, you drunk whore. No fins? No, no. fins? Did what word were you trying to grasp at in your drunken slur of stupid... <laughs> Here, the false notion that the false notion the false huh. notion huh. false e notion that <laughs> either she's really drunk or her dentine fell out oh. well you know they say it, it's better you're better at sucking dick without well, your no, it's dentures either that her fucking, it's either her fucking dentures are falling out of place because uh, the dentine isn't sticking yeah. or she's drunk Yeah. and with politicians it can go either way well, you know, there is a Zappa song where they sing, Baby, take your teeth out, try it one time, yeah. Baby, but if she is going to start to Pelosi out yeah. and fucking be drunk all the time, we might get lucky enough to watch that fucking cheap wig fall off her head. <laughs> we might get lucky enough to see what oh, that bitch man. is working, actually working with under there. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's probably not pretty. Yeah. Because she doesn't look like the type of whore that takes care of her hair. I don't know. She looks know. like the type of whore that lets her hair go to shit and then puts yeah. a wig on it. All right. Because it's much easier. Okay. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's move on and get her to notice. And... To reject the false notion that suggests you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away, when in fact it's just reasonable. I support the Second Amendment, but it's... It's what? Okay, Wait, okay. Wait, what? It's just reason resize about the Second Amendment? No, you don't. You liar. And by the way... Yeah. If we're not, as citizens, allowed to have guns because shame on us, gun crime and shit, yeah. then neither do your fucking bodyguards. In yeah. fact, bitch, unless you're going to pay with for your bodyguards out of your own oh. hard-earned cash, not taxpayer-funded paychecks to you, no, your own hard-earned cash, so yeah, you're going to have to go sling that pussy again. Unless you're fucking paying for your bodyguards like that, the taxpayers should not be paying for your fucking henchmen, nor should you be advocating for only your henchmen who are fucking strong-armed off of tax money to begin with yeah. to have the only guns. Are you fucking stupid? Because when you say shit like that, you are announcing to the entire planet and all of us that you are, one, a fucking moron, and two... Too goddamn ignorant and selfish to lead. <laughs> Poor puppy's Bitch. crying. It's okay. She's not yelling Evil, at you. disgusting, drunk, denture-losing bitch. <laughs> the poor puppy thinks you're yelling at it. When, in fact, it's just reasonable. I support the Second Amendment, but it's reasonable to say we need an assault weapons ban. It's oh reasonable God. to say <laughs> we need... Yeah. The powers that be that own that bitch, right? Yeah. You know, China and all them, they wrote her a script. She read that script, went, fuck, I can't, I can't say this shit. Went back to her office, got fucking plastered enough to read that shit without fucking crying. Because <laughs> she knows how bad it's going to make her look. That's what this looks like. It looks like somebody who fucking got forced to give a speech they really don't want to give. So they went and got drunk first so that they can do it. Yeah, maybe. That's what this looks like. That's maybe she's like, ah, oh, like. read it, but let me, hold on, I need a, I need to I slam got, oh, back shit. a shot of whiskey. Like, how am I going to fucking read this? <laughs> God damn. I'm basically telling them they're bad people if they don't let us take their rights away. Yeah. Their rights that their ancestors fought and died for. And defeated a king to earn. Just give those away, people.
Just give them away. Kamala Harris says, just give all those hard-earned, blood-stained rights away. Because you're feckless if you don't. Well, feckless me, I ain't giving you shit, you fucking wig-wearing, denture-losing, drunk-ass, <laughs> political, call-girl yeah. whore. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. With one of the many dildos I know you have, because oh. not a man on this planet, including your husband, really wants to put a dick in it. Oh, boy. So you do it for yourself. We all know it. Look, she's she's She's, she's winc- probably got a fucking machine. She's wincing right? at your words right now, Tabby. Look at Her this. Her husband doesn't not. Yeah, because she's fucking. She knows this is dumb. Plus, she's drunk. And she's lo- Well, she agrees with you. Yeah. Yeah, this is dumb. Yeah. She's a fucking worthless mouthpiece. Okay. Which is what she's been from the beginning of her career when all she was was on her knees being a mouthpiece. <laughs> she was a fucking glorified blow-up doll for the majority of the mm. beginning of her fucking career, yeah. people. Yeah. This bitch has no business even being in that suit, let alone that fucking building. Yeah. She disco- Fuck her. She, she discovered that even with Viagra, <coughs> Joe Biden's just too old. For her to work her ways on him. Then he's racist. He doesn't like him that color. Oh, yeah. He never sniffs a black person. No. Black kid. I'm His sorry. He never like, sniffs he, a black girl. A little black no, girl. Hunter likes um, Asians. Yeah, but Biden, Biden he only likes, sniffs the little white girls. Yeah, he likes Caucasians. He doesn't like... He's not into black kids. Yeah. All right, anyway. Yeah, we need... I gotta go back. Here we go. It's reasonable to say we need an assault weapons ban. It's reasonable to say we need universal background checks. That we need. Biden doesn't like sexually assaulting black people. Yeah. Because he doesn't find them. I think he thinks they're dirty or something. He's well, probably one yeah. of those old school racists that thinks like the color will rub off or some shit like that. Some He's an old school Democrat. Bullshit trope like that. And so he doesn't seem to want to really touch anyone of color. Yeah. <laughs> so. My guess is that they wanted a female to run with him, but they couldn't have a white woman, a Latino woman, <laughs> or an Asian woman, because there was a high predominant chance the body would try and grab some titty. <laughs> so <laughs> they stuck this bitch in, who says she's black, but is about the whitest black bitch I've ever seen, because she they know that Biden won't touch her. Yeah. And because he's too fucking racist, and she's a little too dark for his liking. If I'm not mistaken, it. the darkness I get that... It. If I'm not mistaken, the non-Caucasian that she has in her is more from the subcontinent of India than it is from Africa. It's India and Jamaica. Right, but Jamaica, that, that would be Africa. It would be Africa, but it's highly mixed Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, she's mostly fucking white. And then you got okay. Gu- Guyana, which is a mixture of people from India uh, in that area and people with uh, African DNA. I'm sorry, I classify Italians and Indians as technically Caucasian. <laughs> you're just tan and olive. All right. <laughs> to me, you're pretty much the same. All right. Just the span of color. Well, you know, there really is. It's just. <laughs> That's kind of what it is. Different like, people divide up the rainbows in different ways. Some cultures <laughs> recognize the orange as a color, some don't. Yeah, it's like. Even to a degree, black people, it's like, she does technically have black DNA in her, but she is very, very light. <laughs> I would consider her in the category of, like, Italian. You're one of the darker Italians, sweetheart. Deal with your life. Yeah. You know, but she's not. But still, she th- likes to play that she's one of the people. Yeah. And she'll put on a fake accent, which I think is the most racist thing you can fucking do. Oh, yeah. Go to any place in this country and just start trying to talk like them and talk dumb because you assume they're dumb. Yeah. It's like, go fuck yourself right now. How dare you? And she does that. Hillary Clinton does that. Oh, yeah. They all fucking Hillary do it. Hillary is really bad. And it, oh, yeah. Hillary's like watching Madonna pretend she's British. It's just <laughs> horrible. Like, what are we doing with our lives? By the way, what do you think of these face? Look at this expression. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Please I, believe the bullshit I'm telling you right now. I'm the penguin, see? <laughs> see, like my brain's putting off one thing, my mouth just can't hold it straight. Ha! Yeah, no, really. There is a con. There is a conflict shown in. in look. Look at the eyes Her here. Face can't handle it, so. Yeah, it's something's trying to come out, and she's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe him." You know. Okay. She can't believe she's telling the American people. Yeah. 
that they need to listen to her and give up their second fucking amendment right. Yep, so, okay, let's continue. It's reasonable to say we need universal background checks, that we need red flag laws. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's reasonable to say that if you want to deal with violence re- in the community, Wait, you she, also got to get understand it's Whoa, not a she, act, okay. act, that tongue just lost itself. Yeah. Uh, she did a roll of, of, yeah, of drunk tongue. There was a little one first, and then there was a bigger one after that. Bag laws. It's reasonable to say that if you want to do... It's reasonable to say... It's reasonable to say that if... It's reasonable to say... It's reasonable to say that if you want to deal with violence in the community, you also got to get to understand. You, you got to understand. As an American people... He's turning into Pelosi, by the way. As an American people, we need to demand after the revolution happens because these assholes are going to cause one that no politician at any time in the service of his duty, her duty, whatever, can have even duty. one lick of alcohol in their system. And yes, breathalyzers and blood tests will be administered. Yeah. If suspected. Yeah. So you better not smell like it. You better not show up that way. You better not get drunk that way in the building because it is a prison sentence, baby. Yeah. That's the rule that needs to be implant- implanted because this shit, she is drunk and getting paid more Picture the person that you know that makes the most money you've ever fucking fathomed. She makes more than them and she's fucking toasted. Yep. She's paid to be toasted. What the fuck is that shit? (laughs) All right, let's continue with this talk about stuff. Community, you also got to understand, it's not only about mass. Wait. Say that word again, Kamala. Try and say that word again. Mass. You also... Community, you also got to get in stand, get in stand, get in stand. And since Pelosi has somewhat retired a bit, uh-huh. there's just like excess of alcohol in the building. <laughs> and apparently, Kamala. <laughs> they keep delivering it on a daily rate. Right? Somebody's got to drink. Hold on, it. hold on. And apparently, Kamala, as the good call girl that she is, can't leave a bottle of whiskey, bourbon, vodka, or anything just sitting around. So she, instead of just picking it up, putting it in a cabinet, she drinks it. Because, you know, waste not, want not. That's what happened here, probably. No, I'm kidding. No, it was more or less she didn't want to give this speech while sober. Yeah. And we're paying her to be drunk. But the other one's also funny. Look, look real close here. <laughs> look real close. Look. <laughs> she like almost fainted. Her brain blitzed out for well, a second. Right here, watch her eyes she's after glazing. this blink. Yeah, she's glazing over a little bit right there. She's about to fall backwards. She's not quite drunk enough. But one more, and she's out. Actually, give her about Look. 15 minutes and she might be there. Abby. Hey, she knows that motion. <laughs> she's done that her whole life. See, she's so drunk, she's going back in time <laughs> mentally. This is call girl, what is that, um, Alzheimer's. She has call girl Alzheimer's it's when she gets memory. drunk. She goes right back. Yeah, there you go. Some muscle memory of the past. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> How big were they that you were shoving in there? You do in Buffalo? No, she did two at a time. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, she Discount. kissing them. She kissing oh, She loves them. Look at that. Oh, yeah. She misses her old days. Oh, God. I'm going to lose it. Okay. Let's She's go. like, I drank less when I was a whore on the street. And then I am now. I, I still suck dicks. And, um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> she realized what she was doing. She was like, oh, wait. Okay, they're going to remember me. Okay, come on. Gotta, gotta stop kissing the invisible dicks. Hold oh, on. God. Dang. Okay, kiss them again. Oh, God, yeah. Um, yeah. Just with oh, a lot of, a lot of, oh. oh Just going to hurt the side of it oh, real quick. Oh, Okay. I miss your dicks. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen political dicks? They're all shrivelly. I, I miss those other dicks. I miss them. The wild dick was nicer. It was, um... Free range. Less predictable. More... More varied. Now they're all... They all they're all real wrinkly and sort of small, and they're... They kind of taste salty. I don't understand that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, okay. Shooting situations which are horrific and it's about understand it's not only about mass uh, mass and she's like oh yeah dicks shooting (laughs) uh, mass oh she was trying to say mass not masks no mass okay 
She's talking about mass shootings. And by the way, what these politicians never elaborate when it comes to a mass shooting, they mean if one person shoots another person in the vicinity of 10 other people, yeah. but only one person is shot at, even if it's by accident, it is now considered a mass Shooting. Because there were 10 people there. There were 10 people in the proximity of that bullet. So therefore, this is a mass shooting. It's not how many people you kill. It's how many people were present. And that, my babies, is a trick grifting way of classifying shit. A mass shooting should be classified as, oh, I don't know, five or more. Seems fair. If you have shot more than five people, or just five people in general, I'm going to consider that a mass. But if five people were present and you accidentally shot your neighbor in the foot, no, that is not a mass shooting. But they will calculate it and classify it as one. These political asshole grifters have purposely worded shit so that they can classify your neighbor accidentally shooting themselves in the foot in the presence of their neighbors outside in the neighborhood as a mass shooting. How is that something worth gun restraint? He dropped his gun and shot himself in the foot. But it's a mass shooting. Isn't that funny? That's real hilarious how they swing that one. Yeah. <clears throat> because it's a grip. You need them to fucking put it concretely as it is meant to be. No little loopholes, no waffle words, no, oh, well, we're not really, no, then you don't write it down. If you're not sure, it's not a law. If you're not sure it's one thing, go fuck yourself. I hate politicians. I fucking yeah. hate them. They are professional liars. Uh, they are mass shit is what they are. Shooting situations which are horrific. <coughs> no, they're not. And it's about everyday no. gun violence. Mass shooting situations which are horrific. And it's about everyday gun violence. Okay. Gun mass, shootings, mass shootings that are horrific. Kind of like how the CIA and FBI go in and just obliterate people. Yeah. That's horrific. Yeah. How about when DEA agents get the fucking information all wrong, kick in a fucking family of five's house, and just start manhandling everybody and destroying shit with their guns? That's not worth a restriction on your guys' end? How is that? Because... Usually, when it comes to a mass shooting scenario, it's a cop who doesn't know what the fuck he's doing because he's panicked, and he's shooting at the suspect as the suspect flees. That isn't considered a mass shooting, but it should be, seeing as how the entirety of the neighborhood was present for each of those bullets. True. Good point. But if the officer isn't an officer, he's just some guy chasing a dude down the street who fucking killed his kid, oh no, you can't shoot that because now you're, you've committed a mass shooting. Do you not see how it is a problem for them to get to dictate to us what the rules are when they themselves have set a completely second standard of rules for them? Oh, if you get to have one set, then I will make my own fucking rules. Thank you. You don't get to make rules for me and then separate ones for you. That's not how this is going to work. You're not a queen. That's not a king. You all did not fall out of blue blood fucking vaginas. You can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> yes. Is what you can do, you bastards. Because $20 on the fucking line, yeah. most of you are in fact bastards from your parents. Mm. Like your daddy ain't your daddy because your mom don't fucking like him. Because that's how it is with political leaning families. Well, come on, no one likes each other, and it even goes back to the times of actual blue bloods when the men were more likely to fuck the serfdom outside than their own bitches twat. And she was basically fucking the butler, so most nobility is in fact bastardization from the butler. Or the stable boy, or the knight emperor. Depending on where you're from, different classes. Well, you gotta get some outside jeans every once in a while. I mean, you can't yeah. all be doing your cousins and. Basically, yeah. bottom line, she is a fucking whore, a literal street walking, call you up on a fucking beeper, snort coke off your dick, whore. And she's up there telling you she knows better than you, and that you should give up your rights to her, a fucking coke sniffing whore. Yep. From the streets, you should give up your Second Amendment rights because she told you to. How many of your pimps?
fucking shot somebody. Bitch. Please, you were a fucking call girl. Legitly had a pimp. Legitly had a fucking bodyguard. How many times did your fucking boys shoot someone? You have no right to speak here. You have no right to be in this fucking building. Fuck you, you goddamn whore. She didn't get there on merit. She got there on dick sucking. And the guy she dick sucked to get the position of power she initially got, told on her. It's like, yeah, I helped her get that job after she blew me. The fuck? What the fuck is that still doing in politics, people? Wake the fuck up. That should not be allowed. This drunken, dick-sucking, coke-sniffing whore should not be allowed to be doing what she's doing right now. But because the politicians have figured out a way to steal our money, give themselves henchmen, and gear the fucking laws to make us look bad every time a gun goes off in the presence of ten people. Actually, I think the level is actually four. It only needs to be four people Jesus before they classify Christ. as an actual mass shooting. Oh, boy. And you don't even have to shoot at four of them. Like I said, your neighbor could shoot his own fucking foot because the bullet was discharged in the presence of that many people. Boom, mass shooting. Same thing with school shooting. It doesn't even have to be at the school. It could be the neighbor a block or two away drops his gun, shoots himself in the foot. But because he's in the proximity of 100, I forget, it's yards or something. A couple of blocks school, from the school, like that, yeah. He's technically within the bounds and therefore it's a school shooting. That's another one they like to fake. Yeah. So those numbers of mass shootings and school shootings are false. They are fucking fake numbers. Because the actual story behind the episode that was reported was a nothing burger. It was literally nothing. No one actually got hurt. No one was trying to hurt anybody. The gun discharged. Oops. Mass shooting, school shooting. Oh my God. Give up your guns. We know better than you. Even though we wrote the words that are very misleading that we're using to tell you that these things are huge when they're really not that big. Yeah? Go figure that shit. Yeah. Bullshit. So, there you go, Tabby. Not only is <laughs> the... Is she apparently... Yeah, I mean, may, maybe... Maybe she is just a drunk, or maybe she's like, oh, God, I gotta take a swig of whiskey before I go out there and say this bullshit. Somebody needs to make a mix of her slurs and turn it into a, a Kamala rap. Well, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's let's see if okay, let's see if I can DJ something. Let's see. And what needs to happen in terms of people who otherwise have evidenced themselves being having a feckless quality to show some courage to reject the false notion that suggests that suggests the false notion that suggests to reject the false notion that suggests you're either in favor of the second to reject the false notion it's one of those things you're going to have to micro to reject the, to see yeah. the the individual slides yeah no i would have to i would have to use uh, a sequencer and stuff like that yeah so you can see the individual false notion that you suggests you're either to reject the false like notion that right? to reject the false notion that to reject the false notion that suggests you're either in favor of the Second mm -hmm. Amendment or you want to take everyone's gun. If you want to deal with violence in the community, you also got to get in stand. It's in stand. This is my favorite part. You also got to get in stand. She's, she's becoming Joe Biden right here. You also got to get in stand. It's not only about. You also got to get in stand. It's not only about mass. Yeah, I see what happened is the drugs that they give Biden. Uh, came out. See, she tried to go down on him, and because he's so old, it just wouldn't, you know, happen. And uh, you know, he wasn't wearing diapers, and so she got a different fluid. And in that fluid was some of the drugs. Well, now, see, she tried, but see, Biden doesn't like black chicks, so that was the problem. That and he's too old. But yeah. they kept saying, "Close your eyes, pretend it's a little white girl." True. I mean, if they had brought a fucking toddler into the room, sure, he would have fucking saluted. Yeah, well, I consider her a traitor. She's anti-American. <laughs> When you are against uh, any of the amendments, you are a goddamn traitor. Yeah. If you're against the Bill of Rights, which are not something that gives anybody right. A lot of people think, oh, well, the government gave it to you. You could take it away. No, 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 no. No, they don't. The justification for the government to exist is that it 
protects the rights we already have, which is the reason why we have a government, according to Payne and the other founding fathers. The reason why we allow the government to exist is that we could be better off with a government that protects certain rights than we are if we're just a bunch of farmers without any sort of government. And there you go. And it could protect our rights. Life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, uh, and our right to bear arms and stuff like that. Because if we don't have a government to protect, say, for example, our right to bear arms, then the redcoats might return again in a couple of years and then take, you know. So, there you go. Or the asshole telling you, you should give up this thing that would keep the enemy from taking you once again. Oh, don't pay attention to my lineage that I'm only first generation. My parents come from there. No, don't pay attention to any of those things, those giant red flags, because that's what happened, you assholes. When you let somebody come into your country because you let migration happen, that's fine. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. But these are people come from other places. How do you know they're not spies that are going to have a kid, train the kid to fucking take over your shit? Yeah. How do you know? You don't because most of you don't want to vet shit because your politicians are like this cunt who will fucking happily get paid by the enemy to let fucking spies, manipulators, and destabilizers into your country, then take your gun rights away, but not theirs. Yep. Not theirs. Yours. By the way. Why? Because she's been systematically pumping in a secret fucking army that they plan to arm. Why do you fucking think there are giant centers everywhere full of fucking migrants? They aren't migrants. They're men. Fighting age men. Being housed for free. Being taken out of jail after assaulting a New York City police officer. Two of them, by the way. Yeah. Taken out of jail. Not by the judge. Not by a good arguing lawyer. No. By the fucking president. Yeah. The fucking president got them out. You tell me it's not a secret army. You tell me it's not. They don't want a single one of them locked up and they're not deporting them. They're housing them on your dime and they're kicking out black people, Hispanic people, and fucking Asians and white people out onto the street. Taking away their benefits and giving them to these. Tell me it's not an army. Oh, well, they don't have weapons. It only takes a couple of truckloads and boom. Now they do. Oh, they wouldn't do that. Well, funny, because the CIA did. Oh, yeah. CIA moved them into the south there. A bunch of them from a fucking island. Gave them guns, taught them how to fight. Realized they weren't any good and fucking scrapped the experiment. They will, in fact, pump people into another country. Arm them. Train them. And make them want to fuck you over. Do not at any point think that this bitch is your friend. That any member of Congress, any member of any political house or form is your fucking friend. They are not your fucking friend. If they were, they'd stop taking the pay raises. Yeah. That's how you know they're your friend. They don't take the money. The blood-stained money that they shouldn't be taking. Yeah. That's how you know that politician is your friend. But so far, I've only ever seen one do that. Can I say something really quick? Gun control legacy begins with what? In America. The first uh, efforts to restrict the Second Amendment was to take guns away from the black people who were recently freed. Yeah, they didn't want them because, you know, that would be a problem. They're going to go around and shoot everyone. No, they weren't. Right. You just didn't want them to defend themselves from your impromptu lynching that the kids you had fucking born and trained to be assholes wanted to do. Yeah. So we can't have them nice black people arming themselves because then when my fucking kid Jethro from age, well, I don't know, 18 to fucking 30 decides he wants to kill across the countryside, I don't want him getting shot. Yeah, that's what that was about. Yeah. That's what gun law restrictions are all about. It's where it started. They wanted the right to let their kids fucking commit chaos without one of them getting shot. That's all that is. And just translate it to all of us now being the assholes that they don't want to get shot at from. Because that's what it translates down into. They want to own it. They want to take control of everything. They want fucking slaves. But you can't have any of these things if the people you want to make these things happen from have fucking weapons to shoot you in the goddamn whore face. (laughs) So what do you do? You try to tell them in a manipulative fashion that they cannot control themselves 
and you as the good, justful parent will just have to take that toy away. Through restrictions, of course. Or restrictions that my, you know, gun-toting bodyguards who shoot fucking civilians in the face, <laughs> capital, Pelosi, jackass, yeah, he, Pelosi's bodyguard never got fucking charged for shooting Ashley Babbitt square in the fucking chest. Yeah. No charges. Cold-blooded fucking murder. Hired thug. Taxpayer paid for thug of Pelosi's. Shot and killed a woman who didn't have a weapon. Couldn't have killed him. Couldn't have actually hurt him physically because he was bigger than her. Shot her almost in her fucking face. Yeah. This bitch would have you believe, but that's okay, because we know better than you. Really, because I wouldn't have shot an unarmed bitch crawling through a window in the fucking face. Or attempted. Because I'm quite sure that's where he was aiming. And she moved. And caught it in the chest instead. Yeah. Because it's pretty cl pretty close shot between her face and her fucking chest on that one when she's crawling through that window. I think he was just shooting right at her melon, and he missed and hit her in the chest. But that's a paid thug. The same paid thugs that Kamala Harris would never restrict. But you, you shall always need a restriction. Why? Because you are stupid. You know how I know you're stupid? You helped get her in power. Now, everybody who took offense to that, you took offense because you know you are responsible for this. Yeah. And you should take offense to my words because God damn you to hell. How stupid can you be to put a fucking prostitute in the White House? Do you see what she's doing now? She wants her gun-toting thugs to keep their guns, but you need to lose yours. She's got a fucking army of Guatemalans brewing. But don't worry, we would never arm them. Of course they would. And they've got the surplus guns to do it. So... Trust me on this one. This is all a real fucking problem right now. And this bitch telling you that you're a bad person if you don't let them take your gun rights away is a big old fucking part of the problem. And any of you assholes that are angry right now because I'm saying this, you are the further part of the problem. You know why? Because you put that whore where she doesn't belong. And you are the assholes that will reign in communism and cause people to have to eat their dogs again. You are the reason that shit falls apart in other countries. You are the reason that children starve on this planet. You are the fucking reason that the world is a purgatory of shit. So, have a nice day understanding you are the reason life sucks in general. People like you. Because trust me, if people like you didn't exist, if the human animal did not spit out the psycho piece of crap that lives in your skull this world would be a lot nicer not that it would be free of crime but it would be a hell of a lot nicer and cleaner because if there's one thing you all are hypocrites and you bitch about the fucking ecosystem and shit but i'll be damned if you don't fucking wear plastic leather and use up every bit of nature you can in your lifestyles because you're giant, massive, fucking stupid hypocrites. Just like this one with her, you should buy electric cars. Really? Because your, um, your giant soccer mom vehicle that you like to be chauffeured around about in doesn't exactly look like it's running on, um, electric battery power. No. That looks like a fucking strong ass engine in there that runs on gas or diesel. You fucking hypocrite. Oh, then there's all your plane flights because you can't do a conference over a computer no 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 these political assholes have to go to the party because there's always a party where they're getting drunk so they gotta go to the party which means a plane trip or a private jet trip because this bitch isn't gonna fly commercial because everybody hates her and they know they drown her in the toilet you know <laughs> so yeah politicians above all are the most hilarious of all hypocrites and you assholes put this one where it is. So if you got a problem with it, you got no one to blame but yourself. When you see the world around you going to shit, remember, you helped make it that way. Not the person you want to blame.
you. Because the person you voted in, the person you helped cheat into that position, the person you manipulated shit for, is the one fucking it up. That's a you thing. It's not a me thing. It's not a rest of the world thing. It's a you as a human piece of shit that will not fucking learn to leave the team that you were born on and think for yourself. Oh, it's a little too hard to break out of that NPC shell. It just, it's much easier to have everybody tell me what to do in life than to actually think for myself. Yeah, you all are the problem. Trust me on this. Every country, it's you assholes that are the problem. That mentality of I'm going to fuck it up and then blame somebody else. Look, she's about to throw a beer, don't you? She might. She's probably going to walk off stage and faint. Or she's probably going to fall. There's probably a handler not far behind that curtain to catch her ass. She's, 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 she thinks she's in the 50s. I'm going to do a little jiggy dance. Woo! Hey, bitch. Look at that face. You all elected that. What I want to know is what kind of desperate man lets that beaver mouth near their dick? Look at that. Look at that. I know she can take in the big ones, but come on, guys. That thing's scary. If I were a dude, I wouldn't put my dick near that. <laughs> she cut through that like a carrot. Just, I, well, that's a that's what you call a Black and Decker Pecker record. Look at her. Look at all the wood chippers. <laughs> I pray to God you don't piss her off halfway through. She's going <laughs> to nip it off. Yeah, yeah. Fucking garden snips. Damn. <laughs> A fucking rabbit living in her mouth. Hello, bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus This Christ. is why she doesn't ride on a motorcycle. She just has all this fucking, you know, real estate for the bugs to get stuck. <laughs> what a grill. Yeah. <laughs> you could get a whole goddamn dragonfly in that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, you know chemically whitened, so they might get confused and fly into that shit on purpose. <laughs> I can't help it. No go uh, into the light. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I, I gotta end this. I gotta end this.